Okay, this is Anna's Quest, as you can see. It's uh, been out for a few months. I actually wish listed it uh, before uh, before it was released, and uh, then didn't get around to buying it until recently when it's in a uh, Indie Gala bundle, Table at Games bundle, and uh, let me just see if I can change the settings. Okay, let's just turn everything down by a third. There we go. Yeah, so basically for uh, six bucks. You get this and several other games. All by Daedalic, who are a uh, well-known publisher of point-and-click adventures. So, I find the art style appealing. The, uh, the uh, mechanisms, well, you know, point-and-click adventure games... I find some of the conventions of point of view adventure games massively frustrating, but uh, not enough to put me off so far. I've, I've played about seven hours. Um, judging by the achievements, I'm, I'm about halfway through. I have about half the achievements. It could be I've just missed a bunch and I'm, I'm actually near the end, but I think probably half or two thirds. So it's a point and click adventure. Right click to do the small action. I could be wrong. But I have a feeling the witch made that mattress out of wood. Every morning I wake up with splinters. Uh, so there, I'll That's look. Ben. Poor guy. Ben has been, He's been here even back. longer than me. I can talk. Hi, Ben. Hello, Anna. How are you? There's a uh, lot of voice acting going on. I'm going to try and not spoil too much of this. Uh, this is fairly early on in the game, I've just loaded up at like my first save. So any ideas? Well, um couldn't we just kinda explode the wall away and just run for it? Run for our lives. Um Ben, I I'm not sure that's the best idea. I don't think it's exactly strong enough to just blow away walls. Oh. And if the witch sees us escaping, we're done for. I think if we're going to get away from here, we need to be more careful. Find some way that's quiet, without her noticing us. So, everything's voice acted. Better looking around. Okay, so Anna. Good luck. Here. The uh, general background of the game here is that um, you are controlling Anna, who is this girl here who's grown up in a fairly secluded way on a remote farm with her grandpa who has always protected her from the world uh, then he's fallen ill and she's struck out into the forest to find a cure for him and been captured by a witch who is uh, I think at this moment in the story downstairs let's just go and look Yes, she is. And we have a cat. All right, kitty. Let's have a look at this pretty collar of yours. We have to get the cat's collar. Oh wow, she's a ferocious little thing. Getting that collar isn't going to be so easy. So, if we middle click, we see all the interactive options. Um, so the pipe is interactive. There's a section of pipe here that looks pretty loose. I don't really see a reason to mess with it right now, though. And and that leads me on to one of the things I find a bit annoying about point-and-click adventure games is the way that you can't do things. So later on in the game, you can interact with that pipe. Spoilers. But you can't do it right now because in order to interact with that pipe you have to have picked up Open a particular thing 
and uh, and then uh, gone and looked at another thing, and then all of a sudden you can do things with the pipe. Uh, that's the sort of thing I find quite annoying in that. You know, I figured out I want to do something with a thing and it won't let me. And then when stuff happens later in the game, this uh, you might think is uh, totally unrelated, you uh, suddenly that thing becomes something you can interact with. But unless you click on it again, which you might not do because you think you've exhausted all the options, uh, you get nothing out of it. But that's me and point and click adventure games, I'm guessing. And not so much the uh, not so much the um So soft the game and itself. smooth. I'm not sure what they're made of, but they feel so nice. So we can use the inventory to interact with stuff. Hey. And in true uh, adventure game fashion, we no, can combine things. That would definitely make this pillow softer, but well, it would still be flat and lumpy. Ah, so let's try stuffing the pillow. Oh wow, this looks so much comfier. Why didn't I think of this before? I don't know. That's velvety the pillow. Velvet I think pillow. I've outdone myself with this one. This is surely the most comfy pillow ever. And there you go. I think I've outdone myself with this one. This is surely the most comfy pillow ever. I may have just solved one of the puzzles. Just for you. So the whole interface is it's fairly intuitive. It seems to be like Designed so that it could be used in touch, but to use the mouse wheel to uh, bring the bring the inventory up. The All inventory, right, kitty, nap time. The inventory goes away if you uh, move the pointer Aww, outside of the, the book. I have a diamond key. So this over here is his psychic powers, which uh, telekinesis, which, which the witch. Has unlocked. This doesn't seem to work. I should try using my power for something else, I think. Uh, but I can't use it there. Let's see if I can use it on something. Can I use it on something? I don't know if there anything is anything at the moment. Maybe. If I want to talk to the witch, I should I just know. go downstairs. I don't want to talk to her. I want to telekinesize the speaker. There we go. Let's Here we go. Let's see if I can loosen it up the rest of the, the way The big moment. Mm, yes. Hope that fall didn't do too much damage. Uh, so I have a speaker and mic, and I have a broken recorder. And look, look at that. Nice. Seems to be in working order now. Inventory puzzles for the win. So, I'm not going to tell you what, what puzzle that particular thing solves. It does solve something. There are various uh, various neat things around. Uh, the game is very PG. It's suitable for uh, children to play, I think. Uh, the sort of... Uh, the plot of the game spins around uh, Anna being basically uh, very optimistic and yet uh, practical she you know she doesn't worry about obstacles she just sets about uh, getting past them but she's also very naive and trusting when she shouldn't be and, and the plot sort of develops along the lines of uh, should she be so trusting uh, as bad things happen it's a very nice game I think uh, even I'm moderately into point to click adventures. I'm not, not massively, but moderately, I'm enjoying this Curse one. You, Anna. The the annoyances, the annoyances seem to be fairly uh, restrained, and 
the plot it's is the plot is fairly charming. Now. Characters are, are fairly charming. There were some funny ones later on, and uh, yeah, I like the art style and animation. If if you're at all interested, check now. out the uh, Indie Gala bundle, which has this and a whole bunch of other Daedalic games. Uh, well worth whatever it is. I think six dollars forty nine at the minute. Um, yeah, check it out. Anna's Quest, native on Linux. Curse you, Anna! <laughs>